Hi everyone. In this um, video, I am going to probably come across as a monogram, uh, that kind of stuff. But you know, when you're selling on eBay and Sometimes you feel down, sometimes you feel, um, well, how can I describe it? Although the things are going on your way, but you feel you're frustrated, you have no energy, and you don't want to do it anymore. Uh, that kind of thing sets me back sometimes, and... I'm sure we all go through hard times in our life and whether it's personal life or a business life, people do go through hard times. And in any business, you, you always need to pick yourself up and, you know, carry on rather than giving up. You know, I've been doing this for such a long time, but... It seems that I am not using my full potential because I have other commitment in life and I often wonder what am I doing this for? But then I look at these type of things I'm doing and look at the feedback and every service I'm providing and people liking it and that gets me, makes me happy in a sense and not, on the other hand sometimes I feel like what the hell, I'll just stop it. You know, here we are, look, look at this feedback of my account, okay? Oh, I, I don't mind showing people my account because there's nothing to hide, right? So this is the buy, sell my account, okay? So if you guys drop shipping, there's no, it's not worth it because you cannot scrape or snipe or do anything with it because I'm selling all secondhand, you know, used stuff. Right, so... I'm I'm happy to show you guys. Look, see, I got uh, thirteen hundred and fifteen feedbacks over. Right, I've been trading since two thousand eleven. I started selling on eBay in two thousand and five when things were very diff totally different than what is now. Nowadays, starting an eBay business so so easy. I never had those privileges of printing labels and things like this. I used to go around corner shops and supermarket picking up boxes so I can send off to to the buyers. I used to go to the post office and then used to fill in custom forms for overseas buyers when they used to, I used to ship it to Australia, New Zealand, Canada. Uh, South Africa, places like this, worldwide selling. I used to sell a lot of uh, antiques at that time, small amount of small figures and figurines. Right. So, I come a long way. Um, and even though I sometimes feel I just want, you know, to hack with this, uh, but this kind of stuff keeps me going, you know, and... If you feel the same, don't give up. Look, when you read things like this, look. Right, here we are, look. Item is described, 170. I got uh, number of rating, uh, 170. Communication, 168. Uh, dispatch time, 167. Postage packaging charge, 176. So you can see the relationship with these numbers. They're quite close. Right, so I'm doing something right. And when it comes down to, of course, I've got 100% um, feedback, so I have, I have no negative or anything like this. Um, constantly receives highest bias rating, dispatch time, and, and you know, and so on and so forth. And you sort of read the comments from the buyers and that really warms your heart up and it keeps you going you know there we are there's one comment here for you from here it says um, common time lovely condition for the age 
my grand granddaughter will love it, which is I sold a puppet there. Next one is a lovely belt. Thank you, House of Fraser belt. Arrived, very pleased with it. We need the poor person and um, coffee mug. Yeah, and this one A plus. Many thanks. Excellent item, but good communication. Amazing quality. Now, amazing quality. Huge thank. Now that was the the pot of gold piggy, piggy bank, the money saving bank. Great customer service recommendation. Positive, excellent seller. Uh, Chuck Taylor, so Jordan again, excellent, great. So when you look at these sort of type of feedback from people, and I got, you know, pages after pages of feedback, you think, surely I'm doing something right. You know, I'm doing something positive, or else these people would not be writing this sort of comment, would they? So, whenever you start a small business trying to grow slowly, you know, and it, you will come across a situation where you just feel like, oh, I'm giving up. I don't want to carry on with this. This is not for me. Even after almost 14 years or so, I feel this business is not for me. Because my, I used on the flip side of coin, I used to run a restaurant. I was in the restaurant trade. So I used to employ 12, 13, 14 people. So you can imagine the turnover of that place, um, the buzz of running a restaurant, and to a buzz of showing you seven, eight hundred pound monthly taking. Can you see the difference between running a restaurant with 12 to 14 staff against running an eBay business with seven, eight hundred pound monthly sale? Right. Um, you know, I look at back, even my quietest night on a, say, Monday evening, probably the quietest night in the restaurant trade, I used to take more than 700 quid a night. Possibly, you're looking at a thousand pound a night. So I used to take whole months take in in one night. So, but, you know, that's a total different ball game. Whereas this one uh, is different. So you can imagine a guy used to, who used to run and own restaurant to having to run an eBay business on the side for all these years and it still gets the buzz of running eBay you know I'm sure some of you can relate to this and you think what the hell in any business you will get surprises will pop up and you have to deal with it and over the years, I learned how to deal with it because running a restaurant, you get much more hustle than running an eBay store. So now, frustrating sometimes, you know, selling can be frustrating, selling can be fun. But you got to take it on your stride and move on. Even if some sometime somebody writes a, a negative comment, you know, you gotta deal with it. Don't react to it, deal with it. There are procedures out there. there and when they give you a heartwarming message, of course, he lift you up to carry on. So I'm sure so many of you out there who are starting out, who are into this type of, uh, some of the big, big sellers, you feel the same sometimes. You know, you think nothing is going your way. 
That's the kind of feeling I get sometimes. You know, nothing is going. And end of the month, I always, I always look at my facts and figures and look at the selling things, and I do end up, end up um, selling stuff. So I don't lose it. You know, I often uh, used to get this kind of anxiety, like. Oh, this month, how am I going to pay eBay fee? Or, oh, um, because I am not making enough sales. And then you realize, end of the month, you can you can pay the fee, and you have something left over in your PayPal account. So that's always a good feeling. Um, but. Business life, whether you're running a offline, um, you, you, in America you call them brick and mortar, offline store or online store means, you know, that you could have a physical shop or you could have an online shop. It's the same principle. Customer service is paramount. You know, you have to have that mentality of customers always right even though if even though you know they're wrong but you you do not challenge them customers you get them out and say look customers always right i come across situation where i know i am really frustrated and i know i can suck it out the, the buyer is trying it on. Even though the buyer tries it on, and yet I I sort of refund the money, refund the the cost. So as to doesn't I I I don't want any more hustle. You know, and it makes it good. It makes it good. To, business sense sounds, you know, when you pay up instantly. Uh, I'll give you an example here. I sold a, um, in fact, uh, that's what it is, what are we? Yeah. Now, look, here we are. A Winnie the Pooh coffee mug, yeah? Now, I shift this coffee mug. We have um, we have a company, a courier company in the UK called My Hermes. I sort of use them a lot, and I do use them a lot. But My Hermes, they have a a, a sister concern or smaller uh, side of it, where is used by eBay. So eBay called that shuttle. And when you print your label through shuttle, it's basically using my Hermes. But on the eBay label, it will state, label will print as Hermes, rather than my Hermes is actually will print Hermes. And when they come and collect, maybe a different bloke or somebody else, but actually same thing. And I've tested them out. I've sent 15, 16, I think about 17 parcels together. And I was really, really shocked. Out of 17, I had for four item either broken or damaged that kind of stuff so I had to repay these people I mean this one I'm just showing you now now the guy was so gentleman like I've done everything in my power to wrap the the coffee jar coffee mug 
And even though I did everything possible, you know, the bubble wrap, the hard boxing, even, you know, parcel uh, papers inside, make sure it does not get broken on the, on the transit. But these guys, they managed to break it. So I refound this gentleman. Now he has kindly given me a, a positive feedback, even though I won't break. What really hurts me is I sold that item. You know, that Winnie the Pooh mug was precious to somebody because he was, was looking for it and he found it and he bought it, right? And the financial side of things and the fun doesn't come into this because this may be something he wanted to treasure, right? And I was able to provide that service or the item to this person. But there's some idiot to break it on transportation. It just broke my heart, right? The gentleman was good enough to give me a, a star, and which is very, very sad. So that kind of thing does happen when you you um, post stuff and somewhere down the line gets broken or this sort of. It's a frustration as a as a seller. And also as a buyer, you know. So that kind of thing can really upset you in your business. But sometimes you have to put that kind of thing beside and carry on, you know, and move on. So if you sometimes find, if you come across a situation where you are fed up and you're busy, you know, Step back a bit, step away from the business a bit, relax, come back to it again, don't panic. Most of my listings, I used to shift it every single day. I used to shift product every day. Now what I tend to do, I put up um, shipping time four working days. Right, or three working days, I'm sorry, three working days, right. But I tell customers three working days on my listing. But in fact, I always tend to post it on a second day, first day or second day. They know they get their product on time, they get their item in time, so they always leave me a good feedback. I never had any problem with people giving me an email saying, oh, can you post it early or blah, blah, blah. They know they will get it. So if sometime, if you if you think, um, you know, they always go bang on about good service, good service. You can stay that kind of thing, three days, PNP, and then you can shift it in first day or second day. You buy in basically what you're doing, you're buying time. Right, you are actually buying time. And if it goes in before that deadline, eBay keeps setting up, then bonus because they're going to give you a five star rating. So I hope I haven't bored you guys and girls with this long video. Uh, thank you so much for watching this one and all of my other videos. Click like and subscribe buttons and I want to get this channel uh, like my other channels. One of them has 14,000 subscribers. So please help me to get to there, that kind of level. Okay. And I'll, for, I hope the this type of videos are helping me out on your journey to success uh, on the eBay. Thank you so much.